you are coming in at a time when the ICT facet of our economy is viewed or is deemed an integral component of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. In our Kenya Kwanzaa plan, the digital superhighway is a standalone thematic area. And this was deliberately and consciously done because ICT was deemed not just as an enabler to all the other thematic areas, but also a critical success factor for government moving forward. Now, within this, that digital superhighway, as we have espoused on many forums before, we are rolling out massive ICT infrastructure. Rolling out 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable, establishing and operationalizing a minimum of 25,000 free Wi-Fi hotspots, and also establishing 1,450 digital village hubs to enable our youth access ways and means of acquiring digital skills while at the same time as government, we also reach out to global technological companies to link them up to digital jobs, because that really is the frontier moving forward. We are relying on Konza to help us position Kenya effectively as the ICT hub of Africa. So you have got heavy responsibility on your shoulders um, as newly uh, appointed members of the board. One. We expect you to exercise uh, proper oversight uh, in terms of what uh, the organization is doing in line with its mandate. We appreciate the board which is outgoing, which was led by Dr. Ruben Mutiso. They really did a very wonderful job laying the foundation of this technopolis, bringing on board uh, many stakeholders to bring us to where we are today. And we welcome today a new board led by Professor Munavu, who is also an accomplished academician and a leader, and his team. And we are looking forward to see now the city thrive <coughs> and accelerate its impact. We want to see the National Data Center becoming our national digital platform, especially now as we enhance digitalization and putting our government services online, Consa Technopolis will really play a very uh, big role. We are also looking at uh, Consa as a hosting location for investment. We want to attract more global investment and Consa Technopolis will play a very key role. So the new port is ready with enough skills uh, in various areas, uh, investment and uh, leadership of uh, Professor Munafu will take Consa Technopolis to the next level. First, let me start by saying about my visit here, honestly, I am so impressed with what, uh, let me say, what uh, the PS uh, Tanui uh, started eight years ago to the current leadership that is there. Uh, if you don't visit Konza, then you will not know uh, what has happened here. It's a very big project. And despite, of course, the challenges and the constraints with the uh, funds uh, that they have been having, they have actually done a lot. Uh, talking of uh, the current bill that is there, we are working hand in hand. You know this should be a coordinated effort uh, between, of course, the Senate, the National Assembly, and uh, the Ministry, the uh, CONSA itself, and, uh, and of course even the sponsors of the bill. And we are currently working hand in hand to make sure that we expedite this process and make sure that uh, uh, this bill is passed as soon as possible. We are having engagements, we have been having engagements and we are all still having engagements uh, from next week so that we can make sure that it is passed as soon as possible for this uh, uh, facility uh, to continue growing and also for most of our investors to get confidence to invest. In inauguration today we were able to know each other and I think we have a team that is going to take over from where the other team left. And I think the other team that was running this uh, uh, agency achieved a lot. We have seen, for example, that KAIST has taken off and it looks like it is clear that by the end of this year, then that Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology will be, you know, actualized. And that to me will be a major step in creating the knowledge economy in this country. We have also seen the technology that this particular agency is trying to promote. For example, water recycling project, where they are taking wastewater 
They are processing it using very advanced technologies, internationally standards, based standards, and they are able to generate clean water, which you can then use for irrigation, you can use for water cleaning and so on. So it has been a very exciting period, and we are very honored as a board to be able to have been appointed. We thank the appointing authority, and we want to show that we can really provide leadership to ensure that this agency really drives the economy of this country forward. So Konza Technopolis is going to be working with TVET institutions in every county to train them so that we train these young people to be innovative. Konza City uh, is uh, supported by Machakos County, um, uh, Kajado County and uh, Makwene County. And uh, I want to say that uh, the locals are going to benefit in that uh, a lot of business is going to transact a lot around here, job creation. And uh, we look forward to completion of uh, Konza City, which is also supported by Thwakedam, which is in Makwene County. I'm sure the locals will benefit. This is a national project and it's also an international project.